Hi everyone and this is just a short presentation that gives you some instructions and uh, an overview of what you need to do for your final piece of assessment for essay writing for university which is the reflective composition. So let's have a look. So first and most important things first, you must submit your reflective composition even though it has no marks attached to it in order to pass essay writing. So it's what we call a completion task and without it no matter how well you have done in your other four pieces of assessment we cannot give you a passing grade. That's how the course has been set up. The other thing you need to remember is that there we have revised the due date for this assessment so instead of being at the end of week 12 we've given you a further week um, until Friday June the 1st 2012 so that's a little added bonus for you. So what do you have to do? You have to write a short reflection on your essay writing for university learning experience. Basically if you write between two and three hundred words that's enough but if you want to write more than that then please do. Um, if you don't want to write a paragraph, if you've had enough of paragraphs and you feel like you would like to be a little bit more creative you could reflect um, on essay writing by making a PowerPoint. Um, making a short YouTube video if you have got the technical skills to do that, um, writing a poem if that appeals to you. So we're not saying you must just write 200 to 300 words but if you're short of time and you need to get this task completed that will be enough to get it done. So if you're looking for some models or some inspiration for some reflective writing, there's two readings in the resource materials that belong to module 5. That's reading 18 and reading 19. So if you've got time, it's well worth reading through those. And module 5 is also all about reflection, as you no doubt have had a look at. Uh, and there are also some examples of reflective pieces in different formats from previous students on Moodle. So if you want to... Um, be inspired by that, they're there for you to look at as well. So if you're not sure what to write about I've got some prompts here and these are also on the help sheet that um, there's a link to in this week's material. So you might write quickly about what is or was significant about this course for you in terms of its content. How do you feel about it now and perhaps you might compare that back to week one. So did your expectations, were they fulfilled or did they change in any way? Uh, think about whether this course has been a good or bad experience. There might have been a mixture of both as you've gone along through the 12 weeks and explain how and why that might be so. Um, you might want to think about what are the skills that you still need to work on that we've covered in this course and how you're going to plan to do that so you're looking towards the future. Think about where you're going to now in your academic writing journey. Some of you might be going on to do technical writing for university. Others of you might um, be finished with the writing courses in steps after essay writing. And then maybe think about what the key message is that you'll take away from this course. So was there something that really stood out to you like a light bulb moment um, where you realised what everything was all about or how it all came together? So you need to take a little bit of time and um, enjoy thinking about those questions and enjoy writing about it. This is a time for you to sit down and just consider exactly um, what the last 12 weeks have all been about for you and um, then write that down and that will make your learning experience just that little bit more meaningful. So then save your reflective composition as a document whether it's a Word document, a PowerPoint or a link and then make sure you submit that document to the reflective composition forum by the 1st of June and then and only then you can congratulate yourself on completing essay writing for university. Well done.